This is Josh Olson, and this is Trailers from Hell. And today we're going to be visiting the uh, apocalyptic wastelands of the future with Don Johnson and a talking dog. This film is based on a short story by Harlan Ellison, who's one of America's best and most prolific short story writers. Um, he's also the winner of more awards than any five writers combined and the inventor of the word bugfuck. Uh, this film uh, was based on one of his short stories. The short story was originally uh, conceived to be part of a larger book called Blood's Rover. Uh, the story was uh, bought by director L.Q. Jones, who was uh, best known as a character actor who's appeared in countless films, appeared in many Sam Peckinpah movies, including The Wild Bunch, uh, who also wrote the script based on Ellison's book. Um, the film is, uh, it's an amazing piece of work, uh, even more so when it came out, very influential. It, uh, it showed a future that you simply hadn't seen in movies before. You've seen it countless times since, uh, movies like The War Road Warrior especially. But uh, uh, it's a testimony to its power and to its vision, I think, that when we all think of uh, the, the post-World War IV apocalyptic wastelands, this is what we see. Uh, anyway, uh, this is one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's based on a book by the writer who made me want to be a writer. This is a boy and his dog. The film has a terrific sense of humor. When L.Q. Jones delivered his first cut, it was an independently financed movie, Harlan Ellison wasn't particularly happy, however, with some of the jokes. He thought they were kind of sophomoric. And he managed to convince L.Q. of that. But there wasn't any money to do anything about it. So Harlan went around, hit some conventions, and actually raised money from fans to help them afford to do another cut. And they went through and changed some of the jokes and some of the voiceover. But there is a line that still remains, and there's some controversy over it. The last line of the movie is one that uh, I know Harlan is very offended by. He feels it violates the, uh, the character uh, who says it and uh, is just completely not in character. I can't disagree with him. It's also one of the funniest cheap laughs you're ever going to get. Our boy and his dog, rated R, from LQ Jeff.